Hi, 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 the how is the day going? Quite, a, quite an exciting day yesterday. Uh, well, I would say dramatic. <laughs> quite dramatic day yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's a very serious thing. I, I, I would I don't want to, to uh, take it lightly or talk about, you know, make light of it. It's a very, very serious issue that, um, if not handled properly, could lead to a very explosive situation in this country. Uh, but yes, it was quite dramatic. Yeah. How are you feeling now? Uh, well, um, I still, as you can see, I'm still, I mean, I'm exhausted, obviously, after months of campaigning, uh, after a very tense week, um, this last week, starting, of course, in Laikipia, with, um, again, uh, somewhat dramatic um scenes at various tiling centers um but i i feel i feel uh, um exhausted okay no i'm tired um but i've had uh, a morning's rest so i'm a bit of uh, energy back <laughs> so um tell us about you know your journey. How how do you feel about the whole uh, five years that you've been in governorship? What's next? Anything exciting to look forward to? Oh, it's been a, a wonderful, wonderful five years uh, in Laikipia. We've achieved a tremendous number. Uh, we've achieved a great deal. Of, we have achieved a lot of things. We made people. <laughs> It's uh, it's been an exciting five years in Lakipia. We have accomplished many things. Hold on. So tell us about the five years that uh, you know you've been in at the helm of of uh, leadership in Lakipia. You know what has what has it been like for you, and where are you right now in with regard to just coming out of that experience? It's been an exciting, uh, wonderful five years. Uh, we've accomplished a tremendous. Uh, uh, we've accomplished many, many things. We had a wonderful team in Lakipia. As you know, we had many firsts as a county. First county to get to the finish line uh, on a county infrastructure bond. First county to do leasing. Um, many, many of our colleague counties have come there to benchmark. We more than doubled. Uh, own source revenue. We created 22,000 new jobs. We are supporting uh, nearly 2,000 innovative uh, small businesses. So it was an exciting time. Reforming the public service, transforming the Laikipia like, Health Service. Oh, it was such an exciting time. Um, ups and downs of management. Um, normal uh, resistance to change. Um, court battles. How, how resistant? Oh, very, very. I mean, uh, quite an fatigue, you see. But I'm in good spirits. Um, as I said, the dramatic conclusion yesterday did put Kenya on a very risky uh, path. Um, but I, I uh, encourage all of us as Kenyans to reach out to one another and to manage this really, really risky um, process uh, over the next uh, few days. Uh, as for Laikipia, you know, I want to thank all Laikipians. As I said, it was a fantastic five years um, and a great deal of accomplishments. Um, What's the one thing that you're really, pr really proud of achieving? Um, well, I don't know that this one thing. You see, they are all connected. But what comes to mind first? Well, I'll say, okay, the growth in revenue. Um, but the reason for growth in revenue being an important thing is because it allows you to do other things. So growth in revenue, you know, from 460 to 1 billion, I think that is significant. Transforming the Laikipia like, Health Service uh, comes to mind. Um, uh, solely water project, bringing water to more than 2,000 households 
the Makuri and Chumvi water project, the Kinamba water project. Uh, so I, 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 <laughs> I would say growth in own source revenue, transformation of the health service, transformation of the public service as the foundational things that I'm most proud of. I am proud of the output side, meaning, you know, better roads, more than 3,000 kilometers of Maram roads, better towns, uh, Nanyuki, Romuruti, uh, Nyaururu, Sipili, Kenamba, and, and more ongoing, um, creating jobs. I think that's really, uh, you know, like, uh, the Hori Grail type thing. You know, because it's all about incomes and jobs, you see. So we're very, very proud that we were able to create 22,000 new jobs uh, in our time in office. So you were elected uh, as an independent. Indeed. And this time you went back to Jubilee. Indeed. Any reason for that? Um, well, the I had hoped to achieve uh, two things. One is that if you're in the same political party, both the, if as an executive, your party is in control of the assembly, it makes for easier governing because then your initiatives will not be opposed as much perhaps. Um, and I think that um, having good relations with the assembly is a very important step because it helps you to move much faster. So that's what I had hoped uh, to do by going back to Jubilee uh, in the event uh, we are here. And then, of course, Jubilee, we formed a coalition with others, which is the new coalition. But you could have done it with the um, UDA, for example. Uh, no, I wouldn't. You see, politics is also about belief and principles. What do you believe in? And I don't believe in what uh, our colleagues believe in. I, I, I value integrity. I put a high premium on integrity and respect for public office. Uh, I do not believe that public office is an avenue for you to enrich yourself. Uh, so we may not, we don't have the same philosophy with our colleagues. So I could not possibly have belonged to that party. Mm -hmm. So did you set the things that you had set out to do for like TPR? Did you, do you think you achieved? 95% uh, of them we achieved. We said we we're going to do smart towns in the event we've done like 12. Um, we said we we're going to improve water in the event we have put, uh, we, we have brought water to more than uh, 11,000 additional households. We said we we're going to transform the uh, health service and we did transform it into the Laikipia uh, Health Service. We said we were going to fix rural roads. In the event, we have fixed more than 3,000 kilometers of rural roads. So yes, the things we, we said in our manifesto back in 2017, we have actually done that. What are the factors that maybe you felt slowed you down in uh, your quest to achieve these things? Well, I think that the... The fact that I was, an, I was an independent and the house was controlled by Jubilee did slow us down. Um, the fact that we inherited uh, a public service with very divergent cultures inside it, because there are like five different groupings in the public service, so to create a harmonized, uh, high-performance public service took time. Uh, and as we are doing that, that slows us, slowed us a bit. Um, but as I said, uh, uh, we, we have many, many fasts. Um, infrastructure bond comes to mind. Leasing uh, of road making equipment and other um, uh, vehicles and so on, medical equipment, all these things, very, very exciting. And, um, you know, um, and, and um, I'm very grateful, really, uh, to the team that I worked with. So now you're a citizen, Dirito. Indeed. What does that feel like? Are you adjusting to it? Do you feel that uh, you, well, you've always been citizen, Dirito? Is there any difference? 
I don't think there's any difference. Of course, uh, uh, by the way, you know, it's a transfer of power or handing over happens um, over several weeks. Uh, so we'll be having meetings with the incoming team this week into next week, culminating in the swearing in of a new governor. And then the transition will, um, most of the transition actually will be complete by that time. But it still is, uh, that's still at the governor level. Remember, um, uh, it takes time to recruit uh, county executives and chief officers. So it's a, it's a, it's a sort of a two month kind of process of handing over. Uh, it's about this being citizen director. Uh, some things, of course, that uh, perhaps I'll get to do more of, you know, spending more time with family, um, you know, hanging out with my wife a lot more, and uh, going on more and more adventures with her. Mm -hmm. So, yes. And I look forward, as, as citizen director, first of all, I should let you know um, I am working on a manuscript about economic inclusiveness, which I hope will be a really good read, not just for students of economics by the general public and I hope to be um, um, done with it over the next couple of months. Um, I guess I will be a lot more in the city than, uh, than I have been because uh, I believe myself in, in being at my workstation. So uh, over the last five years I have been living uh, in Lake Ipia, or, uh, not not commuting to Laikipia, living in Laikipia, and sometimes commuting to the city. Uh, so I'll be moving, I'll be spending more and more time in the city, paying a lot more attention to businesses that I'm involved in, uh, and generally having a good time. What's the one thing that you couldn't do when you were governor that you're going to be able to do now? Um... Well, there are, many <laughs> there are many things that, you see, when you're in public office, um, it's, it has its boundaries, I think is what I'd like to say. That, uh, like, say, if I want to take my wife out to have a glass of wine, enjoy music, and so on, uh, perhaps I get to do that a little bit more now as a private uh, citizen than somebody in public office. Um, go on more holiday. Uh, you know, my wife and I have always talked about going to New Zealand to visit and have a look, uh, enjoy the countryside on us. Um, you know, so many things travel, uh, read more, write more, uh, you know, visit our play golf more, uh, visit our teenagers and young adults that are in school or in college, in different places. So a lot of exciting stuff ahead. What, um, obviously there are people who voted for you and uh, are disappointed that their votes um, were not enough. What do you have to say to them? Oh, I say take heart. Um, first of all, thank you very much uh, to all our supporters out there uh, who came out and voted, who helped us with the campaigns, who contributed resources to the campaigns. So to all our friends and supporters, a really, really big thank you from me and my family uh, for your tremendous support. I know it is disappointing, but there'll be more opportunities in the future to contribute uh, to the Great Republic of Kenya. Uh, so take heart uh, and let us look to the future and to greater things. Thank you. And to, to those of you who, to those of us who know you as Baba's uh, chief campaigner or chairman of his campaign uh, election board. What um, what do we expect from Baba? Um, he will be uh, addressing the nation uh, uh, shortly after too. Um, obviously, as a team and uh, of advisors around him, we are examining uh, legal options. We are examining all options. Um, but I don't want to spill the beans, uh, I would like uh, um, us to listen in uh, when he addresses the nation or two. 
Uh, does that also mean that uh, you're looking into options in Laikipia of a legal challenge? Uh, yes, we are looking at all options in Laikipia. Certainly, we are looking at the legal options available to us, uh, and we'll be making public announcements uh, about our intentions and plans uh, in the next few days. Okay. Thank you. Who's the? What stood out for you the most in during? One, during your five years, like an engagement with the citizenry that that stood out for you, mm -hmm. and also during the campaign. Um, well, during the campaign, a number of interesting things happened. Uh, first of all, uh, songs, fairly catchy tunes that play on radio uh, in, you know, in uh, several languages. And I, that really was nice to... to tune into Central FM or any other station and, and listen to these songs about our campaign, but they are also nice, catchy, danceable tunes. I thought that was, that was very interesting. Uh, there's a day I went to a place called Rotongoro, and a young girl, maybe no more than three uh, years, uh, came up to me. So she's sitting on my lap, and I'm holding a microphone. She has this amazing, gorgeous smile. Uh, that was infectious. The whole crowd is smiling. We are all, I mean, it was such a, oh, it was such a moment. Uh, another time I went, uh, uh, you know, also in Gobet and I, I sat, we're sitting, um, and I'm sitting among the citizens. Uh, this lady comes, uh, she's an elder lady and I said, no, you can't stand, sit, give her a seat, the seat next to me and move for her. So she sits down and uh, hugs me, this bear hug. And oh my God, it was tough to bring you to tears. It was so heartfelt. So the campaign had many amazing moments like that, where um, a citizen is truly connecting emotionally uh, <laughs> with me or my, you know, and it's, uh, you know, you, you would feel... Uh, you know, you're balancing tears, to tell the truth. Um, for the last five years, a number of things have stood out. Um, one uh, thing that stood out for me was the manufacture of an industrial level six-ton grain dryer by Mureri Engineering in conjunction with Dead and Kimathi University and to turn it on for the first time. Uh, that was quite exciting. It brought the Minister for Education to Dedan Kimadi to see it. Um, another really uh, moment that stood out is how our team in Laikipia was able to respond to the COVID-19 crisis. Everything from temperature checks to uh, in a 300-bed temporary hospital uh, to the build-up of a critical care unit at uh, Nanyuki, uh, um, Nakibi Health Service Nanyuki, um, to our SMEs innovating and making PPEs and, and so on. Um, so that, that whole, our, our response to COVID-19, I felt was exemplary. We fed over 20, 27,000 uh, families uh, that you know, uh, were suffering hardship uh, because basically the economy had shut down. So I, I, that was, to me, amazing the way we were able to respond. Uh, some of the things that may never really be, people may not see is the transformation of the public service itself to a high-performance public service. You, you, you will witness or feel the effects of it, but you may not see the change uh, or touch it, but you will experience the effect because of far better performance of government uh, than was previously the case. What do you? What would you say to your critics? Um, there was a lot of criticism on healthcare, and that um, you know the healthcare was not up to par. Um, well, I'm, I wouldn't say there was a lot of criticism. There was. Um, what's the word I'm looking for in English? Uh, my competitors politically 
tried to use the health service as a as a point of entry in um, in uh, in their quest, I guess. So a lot of untruths are told about the Lakipi Health Service. The Lakipi Health Service, I I bet you, is the best health public health service in East and Central Africa, without a doubt. And I really challenge anybody to come and do assessments of the Lakipi Health Service. Um, you will recall we've been invited even to international meetings uh, about universal, universal health care. Yet we are a small population of uh, 520,000. And we are sitting on the same table with countries like Philippines and India discussing <laughs> how to achieve UHC. Um, it's an exemplary uh, health service and one that is growing tremendously, it, both in terms of uh, level of uh, pay, level of care, uh, but also number of patients uh, treated, uh, the quality or an extent of service is an amazing thing. Thank you. Final words to the people of Lakipia: Will they be seeing a lot of you, or I will be in and around Lakipia. Um, obviously, Lakipia is home. Um, so you'll be seeing me a lot in Yuki, perhaps Romuruti, as well as Iwamete, uh, because we have interests uh, in all of these areas. Um, and uh, yeah, I look forward to contributing to the development of Lakeupia and our great country, Kenya.